What's up team? I'm Coach Addie and welcome to Vitality Lab. In episode 113, we are strengthening the legs using a single kettlebell. We're going to have three exercises with all three having a right and left side component. We're going to start with an offset squat on your right and left side, leading into a B stance RDL on your right and left side, and finishing with a stand to kneel, again, on your right and left side. We're going to go for 35 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four times through for a total of 22 minutes. So grab a towel, grab a water, and grab a kettlebell. Let's get after it. All right, team, we are gonna get started in 10 seconds with that offset squat. So we are going to take our kettlebell and we're gonna hold it in the front rack position. So we're going to make a little shelf with our elbow and rest that kettlebell up there. From there, we are just going to squat down. We are wanting to make sure that we keep the upper body nice and neutral. We are not leaning towards either side. And we're going for 35 seconds on. we are just going to do that offset squat on our opposite side. So we are going to get that front rack position for the opposite side, keeping that elbow high, making a nice little shelf with the arm. Sitting nice and tall, nice and even. Let's go. Coming down for our opposite side of that offset squat. Anytime we are in the squat position, we want to make sure that those knees are tracking with the toes. Do not let them cave in. going to do our B stance RDL. So the B stance RDL is going to look very similar to our regular RDL, but we are going to have a kickstand on one foot. So we'll put one foot on the kickstand. We want the knees to still be even. Then up top, we are going to perform an RDL like we typically would. We just have that one foot on the kickstand. Holding that weight in the same side that we have our leg up. We are pushing those hips back, squeezing the glutes to come back up. Excellent. Flipping over to our opposite side and we have that B stance RDL again. So again, the legs are the only things that are going to be different with this RDL. Have one foot on that kickstand. Knees are even. There we go, hips push back. Back is nice and neutral. Squeeze from the glutes. Come back up. The hips are the driver with this movement. They initiate pushing back and coming back forward. Here it is. From here, we are going to do our stand to kneel. So holding the kettlebell however is comfortable with, for you. We are going to take one leg, drop it down to the ground, Take the other knee down, then reverse the movement, and come right back up. Let's go. We are going to use the same leg to initiate going down to the ground and coming back up. We'll flip to the opposite side. Next. Coming down to the knee. Excellent. 
From here, we are flipping over to our opposite side, and this will be our final exercise of round one. We'll have three more to go. Getting reset. Putting that kettlebell however is comfortable for you. Here we go. Want to make sure that you're pushing that weight evenly through that foot to return to standing. Excellent team. That was the end of round one. We will have three more to go. We will get reset for that offset squat. So bring that kettlebell up to our front rack position. Elbow stays high. Here we go, round two. You can do whatever you want to with this opposite arm. Just make sure that the trunk is staying neutral. Spreading that weight evenly across both feet. that arm we will have that offset squat on our opposite side catching the breath getting reset kettlebell goes in the front rack position let's go breathing. Excellent job. Next we are going to do our B stance RDL. So again, getting those legs into the kickstand. One foot is on the kickstand. The other, we are spreading that weight evenly. Holding the weight on the same side, we have our kickstand foot. And we are pushing those hips back. Feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, squeezing the glutes, returning to standing. Hips. Remember that your hips are the driver here. Back should never lift before the hips are moving. Very nice. Flipping over to our opposite side, we will do that B stance RDL again. Shaking out. Getting those feet in that kickstand. Go hips push back, squeeze, come on. Make sure you're breathing. Next, we are going to do those stand to kneels. Doesn't matter what side we start with, we have to do both. Just make sure you stick with the same leg. <sighs> Holding that kettlebell, however, is going to be comfortable for you. Let's go. Dropping down to one knee, dropping the other knee, coming up to standing. Remember to 
push that weight evenly across the foot to return to standing. Nice job. Flipping over to our opposite side, this will be our final exercise of round two, which means we are halfway through. Catching that breath, getting reset. Let's go. Dropping down on that opposite knee. team. That was the end of round two. We have two more to go. Taking a quick break. We will get reset for that offset squat. Taking that kettlebell, holding in the front rack position. Let's get it. Round three, we are starting with that offset squat. Really making sure that that elbow stays nice and high, keeping the kettlebell in that front rack position. <sighs> Spreading that weight evenly across both feet. <sighs> Great job. We will do that offset squat on the opposite side. <sighs> Keeping that front rack position nice and high, elbow nice and high. We will get reset. Make sure you are breathing. Let's go. Offset squat. Really keeping an eye on the knees here as well. Again, we do not want those knees to cave in towards our midline. We always want them in line with the toes. Protecting those knees. Remember, keep that elbow high. We are not dropping down here. Great job. Taking a second, shaking it out. We are going to have that B stance RDL next. So shaking out those legs, we will get them into our position. One foot is on that kick stand foot. You're spreading that way even. And B stands RDL. Remember, hips are our driver. Hips push back. Glutes squeeze, hips push forward. We are keeping a nice neutral back as well. We do not want any rounding here. to our opposite side. We are halfway through this third round. Getting those feet set up. One foot is in that kickstand. The other is spreading that weight evenly. Here we go, hips push back. Getting the stretch on the hamstring, squeezing the glutes, returning to standing. Really squeeze the glutes to push those hips forward. Beautiful job. Next, we're going to do our stand to kneels. Again, doesn't matter what side you start with, you just have to stick with that side. Catching that breath. We will get reset. 
you go. Reversing onto one knee and reversing out. Team. We are flipping to our opposite side. This will be our final exercise of round three. <laughs> Catching that breath. Getting that kettlebell reset. Here we go. Stay focused, keep breathing. <sighs> All right, team, we are on to our final round, this fourth round. We will start again with that offset squat. Getting that kettlebell into our front rack position. Let's go, final round. Starting with that offset squat. Remember, keep those elbows high. We do not want those elbows sagging on our final round. We are strong. out, shaking out those legs. We'll have that offset squat on the opposite side. Getting reset. Here we go. Dropping down, offset squat. Keeping that elbow lifted. Final 35 seconds of the offset squat. Good job, team. Next, we are going to have that B stance RDL. So getting that foot into the kickstand. Holding that weight in the same side that our foot is elevated. And we are pushing those hips back. Feeling the stretch in the hamstring, squeezing the glutes, returning to standing. Keeping that nice and neutral back as well. halfway through this final round. Three exercises remain. We will flip around and get set for that B stance on our opposite side. Let's go. Hips push back, back stays neutral, glutes squeeze, return to the top.
keep it up. Nice job, team. Two exercises remain. We have 70 seconds of work. You've made it this far. Next, we have that stand to kneel. Holding that kettlebell however is comfortable for you. Let's go. Dropping down to the knees. Come back up, pushing fully through that foot to return to standing. Working on a little bit of hip mobility here as well. Team, flipping over to our opposite side. This is our final exercise. Final 35 seconds. You've made it this far. Catching that breath. We will get reset. Let's go. Final 35 seconds. Final exercise. Give it your all. Great work. Almost there. Whew. Great workout team. I'd like to say a big thanks to everyone who has subscribed, liked, and shared the channel. It is the number one way to help support me and the channel, and I really appreciate it. Most of our viewers are not subscribed yet, so if that sounds like you, please smash that subscribe button. Again, it really helps grow a small channel like this. Don't forget, we have links for all the products that we use in our description box below. So check it out if you need a kettlebell or if you like any of the other products that we use. It's a great way to start a home gym and a great way to support the channel. Interested in working with me on a more personal level? Head over to our About page. We've got a few links that will lead you directly to me. Need a recommendation to keep moving? Click right here or you can check out the Vitality Lab channel to see all of our episodes in full. And as always, do good, stay vital. Peace.